authenticating the ancient promise, the Messiah was born to earth, glorifying the Eternal Father, his, a mission of endless worth. Accepting the deceit of the serpent, a sin-sick people since Eden, in this darkness Christ's light became, a radiant, glorious beacon. Our transgressions demand condemnation and payment, yet this perfect lamb made an atoning sacrificial agreement. Judgment for him instead of for me, from sin's curse to be set free. His blood poured out, rejected was he, nailed to Calvary's tree. The accuser delighted as the long-awaited battle ensued. While yelling malice and mockery, he ardently pursued. The Messiah's followers, fearful, panicked, weary, and confused, ran, hid, and shamefully denied this one they called the King of the Jews. He was betrayed, abandoned, this man of sorrows, this suffering servant. But what of the foretold crushing of the murderous serpent? In the appearance of agony's climax and misery's triumph, it is finished, Jesus proclaimed, in holy defiance. Sin's power defeated, God's wrath satisfied, God's people forgiven redeemed, reconciled, justified, because in obedience Christ died. But just as Jonah came forth from three days from within the deep, with divine authority this Messiah, the darkness would not, could not keep, the stingless dragon disarmed, exposed were his heinous lies, even the tomb could not paralyze. Shattered was the bondage of death and demise. The angels' unending worship and praise surrounded this mystery. From the thunderous voice of God, the creator of all history, arise, my son, with laurel crown, for ours is the victory. The spirit breathed resurrection life, releasing from captivity. The rock of ages was not held by any guard or stone. The women found the empty grave of him who had atoned. This lion of Judah, all earthly power, he had overthrown. All praise, glory, and adoration to Christ and Christ alone. Weep not, fear not, O aimless sinner. The Savior invites us to a heavenly feast, a royal dinner. Do you hear the loving Lamb's call? To Him, give your heart, your trust, your all. The great I Am, putting all things in subjection under His feet, made Jesus the firstfruits of those who have fallen asleep. At the sounding of the trumpet, his second coming will be declared to gather his children, his jewels, and take them to mansions prepared. Hallelujah, hallelujah, for those to him belong, for they shall meet him in the air and join the everlasting song.